Hey guys, thanks for tuning in on Neri's Kitchen. I'm so excited for today's episode. My guest has been on the show twice now, and you might also recognize him from Fit Club's podcast. Please welcome, dun dun dun, Coach Hugo. Hugo. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for having me. Also, the one thing that I say that I have the record for the most views on a, on a video, so. It's, tr it's true, it's true, it's true really. Okay. My ratings are always really high <laughs> with you. <laughs> so today we're gonna make a Naked Island dish that my mom has not taught me, but I've seen cooked many, many, many times and did a few YouTubes and tried it a few times myself. So let's get into it. What we have today is called something called gallo pinto, which is rice with beans. You can use any kind of beans. And what I did was I boiled beans. And what you do is you take a whole bag, you shove the bag in, and you put it with water up to three inches above the bean and just let it boil. It takes a couple hours and let it simmer that. So I did that prior. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a cup of rice. Can we? Okay, yeah. I can get a get couple a cup, of rice. Get a, get a cup of rice with water, boil that down. Also what we have today is we're making a steak with the chimichurri sauce on top and we're making tostones, or some places call them platones. And what it is, it is plantain, smashed up, fr it's fried, smashed up, and then fried again to a nice little crispy chip. So. While she does that, what I'm going to do is... Um, Hugo, am I supposed to rinse this first? How do you normally cook the you rice? Could, uh, I just put water in. You just put, and put how water. much water then? Uh, how, you put a cup in, so put two cups of water. I should have measured it. That's okay. <laughs> Great. That's okay. So while she does that, I'm just going to take these off. When you make plantains, the, the more green it is, the firmer and less sweet it's, it's going to taste. And the more yellow, the sweeter and softer it's going to be. So they use them for different dishes. For tostones, I kind of want them a little bit firmer, but this is what they had at the store, so this is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do here is open this up, like so. And then all I'm gonna do is just chop them up here into little pieces. Now, I was told recently that I had great looking hands. <laughs> so you could be a hand <laughs> so model. I got you, you, know, I, you know, I got hand insurance for this, like George Costanza. So from here, I'm just gonna do that, and then, we are going to heat up a pan, put some coconut oil, and while I'm gonna do the tostones, Neri is gonna make the chimichurri sauce. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna grab, <laughs> she's gonna grab, she's gonna grab a cutting board and knives, okay. and she's going to take the leaves of the parsley and chop it up real, real, real fine. I can do that. She That's do pretty that. easy. Well, you know, I don't want to mess up my hands, right? Beautiful hands. We can't, can't mess these up. All right. So while she does that, I'm just going to go ahead and place these on the frying pan. Coconut oil. This is a, this, you do need a bit of a shallow fry with these. And I do like to use coconut oil because it has a high smoke point. It adds a little bit of that sweet taste to it. So we're going to go with these and we're going to fry these up real good, real quick. Do I cut up the whole bunch? Uh, you, so you just want the oh, leaves. Oh, just the leaves? Just the leaves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. And does it have to be fine? It's gonna be fine cut, Mary. Oh God. It's gonna be a very fine cut. There you go. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna recut this again after. Yeah, it might take a second. It might take a, a few recuts. This is a lot of parsley. That's what's needed. Chimichurri sauce is actually an Argentinian dish. But we're all friends. We're all friends there in the South. But I mean, it's pretty common for South American foods, right? You know what, like guy, guy Pinto, for example, which I believe biasly to be originally from Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica has their own variations. I think Colombia might have their own variations. El Salvador has their own Chile? variations. Chile? Chile might. So might it, I mean, think about it. Like the, whole, the whole spot is just like, rice and beans is very cheap. Honestly, the plantain is really cheap. This whole meal is very cheap and this is what we thrive on, guys. So from there, I think we have some salt and pepper here. I'm just gonna salt this up a little bit. Now, Hugo, have you been to Nicaragua? You know, I haven't. Oh, you I, haven't? No, I, every time I try to go, like I was gonna go last year, and the war, there's a there's like a big time political unrest happening there right now. Mm -hmm. and it just doesn't make any sense. It's very dangerous. I'm too white looking. You they're, are pretty white I'm, looking. I'm, I'm too white looking. They're gonna know that I'm, they're gonna think that I'm but, foreign. That you're I'm a foreigner and treat you different, right? They're gonna treat me differently. And do they speak Spanish down there? Yeah. And can you speak Spanish? You know, I'm out of practice, but I can. I can learn it. I can pick it up real quick. So yeah. Um, I definitely understand it all well. 
And so you can understand it, but you have trouble speaking. Well, yeah, I had to practice for sure. I lost it all. And I have, a, I have an accent like a gringo. Mm -hmm. and gringo is what they is a derogatory term for what they call like a white guy. Oh, yeah. I see. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these guys once they start crisping up a little bit. Let's see what we got for color. Nope, need some more time. Let's get in there though. Get in there. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. What this does. It makes it a little easier to squish while maintaining a lot of flavor. This one's a little thick, so that's going to need more time to cook. But once we get that going, let's go ahead and give these a flip, actually. I'm not looking bad. We're going to do that. We want some color. Caliente. There you go, guys. So then we're going to get both, both sides to do a quick little fry. Season it as you go, as you wish. There's different ways to season these. You can actually put cinnamon on them. I uh, I prefer these a little savory. If you put cinnamon on it, would it be more like a dessert, It'd or would it still be? Dessert. Yeah, and like I said earlier, the more yellow it is, the sweeter it becomes. Right. So if you did that with a more ripe banana and uh, put cinnamon, then you have some you have some tasty thing. You have something tasty going there. So that's almost done. So what we have some two step with this guy. So I'm gonna grab a, a plate. Sure, a plate. Yeah, and uh, a cup, like a cup with a nice even um, bottom. A cup? Oh, we're gonna smash it. You're gonna smash it, exactly. Okay. That's, no, that works. This that works. works? Perfect. All right. Oh, it's gonna be perfect, guys. This is a. They they normally have a tool. You ever see like those tortilla makers where it's like a, you know what I mean, drone, right? It's like this. Uh, it's like two plates with a little uh, lever, and they switch it like that. I don't have those. Is this not parsley, Hugo? That's plenty of parsley. Okay, yeah. so put all of That'd it in here? Great. Yeah. And then... So this is the chimichurris, all parsley. Then she's going to add some uh, oregano. Which we have over we here. Have here. Let's get uh, maybe uh, a tablespoon of... Uh, this is two uh, tablespoons of oregano, yeah. by the way. Let's get a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Okay. Let's get maybe a cup of olive oil. A cup of oh. olive oil? Okay. Salt and chili flakes. And I have that as well. Perfect. So she's going to get that going. The rice is boiling over. We should probably get a cap on that just to let it really roar. So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to put these on here. What's that, Max? So this is one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then we're adding a cup of olive oil. Yeah. And salt and pepper and, and chili, chili flakes. flakes. I should probably measure and, uh, this. You know what, and uh, if you could chop up some garlic real fine. Okay, I can do that. This is Neri Shows, guys. <laughs> this is Neri Shows. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna borrow this here. I don't think we totally need this here anymore, right? Yeah, we don't need that anymore. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy that's cooked. I'm gonna smash it. And it typically stays on, so I have this old four man trick. I do that. And that is ready to be fried again. So it's extra crispy, extra right? Extra crispy, yeah. guys. So we're just gonna do this a bunch of times, rinse and repeat. Just like that. It's gonna be the perfect chip right here. And then we're gonna start seasoning that right away. Oh, who needs a fancy tool drone? Look at this. I should patent this idea. <laughs> the knife trick? The knife trick. Look at this, overcome and adapt. I like how they look after that too. So, I'm gonna keep doing this, rinse and repeat. Neri's got that. Look at the chopping skill, guys. Look how <laughs> fine that is. The hands don't look as nice as mine. It's not insured, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I don't have beautiful hands like Hugo, not but insured. I'm gonna start taking care of my hands. Might as well make money from it, right? right. Especially if it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> there, has anyone ever asked you about your skincare routine? No. No? What no. is it? I don't have a skincare routine. You don't routine. have a skincare routine? No. Wow, you made a lot of girls really angry. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, I really don't. I mean, I, I wash my face morning and night, and that's it. And um, someone told me I should probably start using wrinkle cream. Really? Yes. Because you're looking wrinkly? No, it's just about prevention, right? Well, sure. I mean, 
I don't want to use wrinkle cream when I'm 50 and then I have all of these wrinkles. Oh, you better so start you, now. You might as well start now. And someone was telling me that. And it's not just wrinkle cream, guys. Collagen. Collagen, yes. There's gonna be collagen in there. Yes. Well, because if you look at stars, right, like J-Lo and um, Jennifer Aniston and all these other wonderful, beautiful stars, they're 50, but they have beautiful skin. So it's all about prevention, right? That's what they said. It's all, that's what they said? Yeah. It's all about a lot of money too. Money too, but I mean, if you just drink lots of water and just wear sunscreen and yeah, wash true. your face. Really just, you know, don't wear makeup when you go to bed. Well, who does that? A lot of people do. <laughs> like they forget, that's what it is. You could right? forget or Can it could be- I, I think I might've turned it off. Oh yes, you turn I mean, it off. This needs to go into a simmer. And this is a simmer? Like a four? Yeah. Yeah, and okay. I've got a simmer there. Okay. And I did turn that off. Right? Yes. Did you turn it off by yourself? Is that what it is? Um, I don't know what you did. Uh, no problem. This induction, I don't know. It's yeah, tricky. Yeah, induction is tough. Induction is definitely tough. So I'm just going to go and smash the rest of these. And I'm not going to really worry about cooking them just yet. Because you guys are getting the gist of the plan. So Hugo, I'm going to ask you some trivia for Nicaragua. You got questions prepared? Um, yeah, kind of. No, you don't. Well, I know, I know the answer to one question. Do you? Yeah, okay, I do. Go. Do you know the population, the current the population cur of Nicaragua? Yeah, it's uh, 800,000. No. How much is it? It's uh, 6.5 million. Whoa! I totally guessed, guys. I have no yeah, idea. not 800,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. And you know do what? You but they're dropping like flies right now. <laughs> Do you know what the flag colors are? Yeah, blue and white. Yes, yes. With like a little triangle, which is the volcano. Yes, yes, it's very small in the middle. Yeah, it's very small in the middle. Look at these, now we're gonna flip these. Both sides get nice and crispy. Okay, I think this is good. We don't need that much oil. I'm gonna just try a little bit on my finger. No, it needs more flavor. <laughs> I'm just gonna flavor. add a little bit more. Salt. So it needs more tang, more red yeah, wine vinegar. Yeah, put it in there. Put it in there. Okay, so these guys are ready. What I'm gonna do now is start prepping for the gallo pinto a little bit. So what I'm gonna do... How do you say that again? Gallo pinto. Gallo pinto? Yeah. Okay. So it's G-A-L-L-O. Mm -hmm. And in Spanish, two L's make a Y sound. Mm. And then pinto, which is like beans. So P-I-N-T-O. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab this guy here. You don't need this knife anymore. No. Okay, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to taste. You should probably taste it. I'll try Hugo. it. Hugo. Try it. I like mine with a little bit of kick. Oh, some more heat. So there's no like, heat. Do you feel like it needs some heat? You know, I'm not used to putting heat on my foods. Who doesn't like heat? You or RJ? It's not me or RJ. It's just that the kids they're not used to heat. Oh sure. So because they're not used to heat, we don't, well, I don't add heat to my food. Yeah. But they're not eating this, so it's okay. So we'll do this guy, this is for the guy in pizza. I'm just gonna saute this onion. And so I'm just gonna make sure this is okay. So these are starting to crisp up real nice. Oh shit. <laughs> starting to crisp up real nice. These did start coloring a little bit. Now we add some salt, because the salt really kind of helps absorb with the heat, with the oils, get that in there. We want that nice salty. It's a salty treat, guys. Salty treat. Some people use seasoning salt. I also like using seasoning salt with this guy. You got your own little spicy herb mix, mix so you could do that. But that's gonna go a little bit more. And while that's going, nice. You should try it first. I've never made this before. <laughs> well, doesn't it look good? And that's all they need to know. They need to know how good it looks. Exactly, right? A little more salt. More salty. Yeah. You know, I thought so. Yeah, a little more salt. But you're on the right track. Okay. So we're gonna saute this onion real quick. Let's use sea salt. Oh, but it's there. I like that kick. Okay, there we go. Now, what can I do, Hugo? Okay, so, so we got the rice going. We could probably get that off. What else we could do? Well, now, see how that rice is doing. So now we're almost waiting for the rice to finish. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna saute these guys in right now. So we, just a nice little fine chop. Just keep that going. That should be plenty right there. That's gonna be plenty. Let's get some garlic. 
in the part of the garlic. Just over there. Just over here. Do you make this dish often, Hugo? Yeah, I definitely eat it often. I eat it more than I make. That's and does Sarah thing. like this dish? Oh, you know what? Hi, Sarah. This is so funny. Uh, we made this for Sarah's family. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, Sarah comes from a very, I'm gonna say, like a very white family. Like her mom is like uh, French Canadian, then her dad is Polish. And they, they, like just culturally, it's very, very Canadian. I'll okay. Say. And uh, we made this for them. Sarah made something called pupusas, which is actually an El Salvador dish, but it's very, it's very something what Carlos made that mm -hmm. one time. I remember. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I made pico de gallo. And pico de gallo it's is salsa, right? It's salsa. It's salsa with like lime juice and red pepper and mm -hmm. onions. But it's so fresh. And then, and then we made it for them and they go, oh my God, what's the seasoning? And I'm like, it's lime. <laughs> Just it's lime. lime. <laughs> and like, lime amazing. and raw vegetables. Is it exactly? Oh, you know the secret is? It's cilantro too. Yes, did you, did you have it, is, it is cilantro. Yeah. Okay, so can you turn this on? Yes. Add some olive oil in there. Okay. So let's move this over here. And how high do you want it? Medium heat? Uh, yeah, kind of more hot. More we hot? Want, we want, we want, we're gonna sweat these onions. Okay. We're gonna sweat these and onions. And then do you want coconut breath. oil or olive oil? Olive oil. Olive oil, okay. And this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. I'm gonna just slap these guys all together. These guys are not fried. And understand that I went pretty, I didn't go very heavy on the oil, but they did crisp up very well. And these are gonna be delicious. You know, I actually bought um, plantain a few weeks ago. Did you? And it's so good. It's so good. I, I was introduced to it when I made um, churon with um, Jessica, who was on the show a few weeks ago, yes, and she was I making this. Yes. And I liked the dish so much that I went and bought plantain, and I made some. I actually gave some to Jerome. How, how often there, do you remake the dishes? I've remade the dishes twice now. Twice? So I, I did um, the synagogue. Sure. Which was um, something that we did a few weeks ago. Yeah. And then I did the churon. That was with uh, Wilson, Wilson. Coach Wilson, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I think I'm... I could do this one because I really like the smash plantain. I haven't tried it yet. You but haven't I just tried like, it, right? I like plantains in general. Oh. Yeah, now that, now that you know plantains. But you know what? The thing is, sometimes the stores don't carry it, right? So no, if I do don't. see it's it. It's very seasonal. It yeah, is. It's very seasonal. So if I see it um, at the supermarket, then I will buy it and then I will be using it. Yeah, it's very seasonal. And they keep it a long time. Like there's, yeah. It's almost never too late to use them. What you should do is buy them when they're green. Mm hmm. And just like if you want it, if you want a little bit more savory, yeah, then you could just use some green, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want a little bit more of a sweeter one, like honestly, all you gotta do is just is just um, fry them. Exactly, fry. fry. Them. It fry could be salty or it could be, be salty. Sweet. The win, greener, win. the greener it is, the more uh, the saltier. Uh, sorry, the greener it is, the more savory it is. Right, right. And then the more yellow it is, the well, I, I even went to the store to try to find frozen ones because I wanted to use it, right? I never thought of that. There are frozen ones, really? but then some stores don't carry it. And I was shocked because uh, when we cooked the plantain before, she used frozen ones, yeah. but it wasn't even um, summertime yet, really. So we're going to saute this guy a little bit. It's been pretty good. What about the rice now? So the rice is not quite there. Okay. So we're going to put this off heat because that's nice and heated. We're just gonna wait for the rice. But what we can do is now we can take out the steak. And I did pre-season the steak, guys, so this is just ready. Normally when you have chimichurri, you do want to have a flank steak. You guys aren't gonna know. It it's gonna be fine. If so, my what I the emphasis I want to show with this dish is that the guy in Pinto and, and Tostones, you can dress up and dress down all the time. I've had this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And all that really changes is the side I have it with, right? So <laughs> the egg, if I, I can have it with eggs, and that's my breakfast. Or I can have it with a pork, and that's my lunch, or steak and ribs. Hey, can you get close enough where you see that the salt kind of absorbs into the meat? Like, I love when I watch YouTube, and that's what I see. I love the right? salt. Yeah. Like it you, actually tastes like really that's good. What I see, that's what I see when I look at Gordon Ramsay do it, right? You see that, Joe? Yeah, see that? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, you got pepper? Yeah, the pepper's over there. Perfect. Perfect. I have like five different salts in my pantry. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that actually. There you go. For just, different things though. Just, just give it a, put that aside a little bit. Right there, mix that off. And right there. 
And you know, when it comes to steak, I don't do much else other than salt, pepper, um, garlic, and like a, a herb, like uh, thyme. Where did I put the salt? Uh, oh, over okay. here. Thyme or basil, and let that sit for a while. You know what, for me, I own, I just use uh, salt and pepper. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need. The trick though, is you gotta do it like well beforehand. If you know you're having steak that night, do it in the morning, it makes a big difference. If you do it right before it, you've wasted it. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. They don't They don't teach you that on the cooking shows. They don't teach you that, but you wasted it. <laughs> that's, that's a good tip. Dude, honestly, I asked Sarah so many times every time yeah. we dinner, can you salt it beforehand and she doesn't? Yeah. And the one time she did, it was amazing and she took all the credit. I was so mad. <laughs> She took all the credit. <laughs> so Sarah, if you're watching, <laughs> you shouldn't take all the credit. She wasted the sticks. <laughs> and then, you know what, she made this focaccia bread, which is amazing, and the, this bread is amazing, and it was so salty. And then you couldn't use some of that salt for my steak. Oh. <laughs> okay, so from there, I'm gonna let this sit. Um, what we can do while the rice finishes, which is very, very, very close, I'm gonna switch over here, and then we're just going to we're just gonna fry the steak. Okay, we need to use on this burner here. It's How bigger. do you guys like steak? I like it medium rare. Okay, good. Joe? Uh, medium rare. Good, 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 good. Perfect, guys, so now the rice is just about ready, so I'm just gonna strain it real quick. Just go over here. Get all that liquid out, we don't really need it. Right there, guys. Perfect. So I just want to share something really funny with you guys. I was just saying to Hugo, um, I didn't know how to cook rice because I always use a rice cooker. And this is what he says to me. You have a rice cooker? You have cooker? a rice cooker, guys? Jeez, I'm doing it. Jeez. This whole time. You're making, me use it. You're making me use this thing to smash my plantains. There's a tool for that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he needed a rice cooker, but I had one. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're ready to roll. Let's just this back on. Let's smash it. Let's put the steaks on here. Okay, this is not on. Let's turn it put on it here. On. It's okay. Okay. Put the steaks back on there. We like ours medium rare, so they won't be on there for very long. So while that is sizzling, we have the rice here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab this. Remember I made this the night before. Do you have a big spoon or a spatula? Yeah, a it's just over here. Let's grab this. I kind of want the juices with it to simmer with this. So this is back on. Uh, this is off. Put it back on, please. Sure. And we want that. It turns off automatically. It dies, right? How annoying. Just like that, guys. Let's get one more in there. Just like that. And we're going to let that simmer. One more. What the heck? And this is going to simmer, and I want that those juices to simmer a little bit more. So once that starts simmering, and the juices in there start to, so you can put that in high heat actually. Uh -huh. The beans or the uh, steak? The beans. Oh, the beans, okay. Put that beans on high, I want that to simmer. It's very high. Very high, it's gonna turn out real quick because I've seen how this oven works. I think our steak needs to be turned. Bet. Turn the steaks. All right. There you go. Oh. A little bit more. Yeah, no. No oil. What we do is just add a drizzle of oil. Just to lubricate that. See, now this is starting to simmer. We just want this to simmer a little bit more. There we go. There you go, guys. And it's gonna evaporate a little more, and when it gets a little bit less liquidy, a little bit more crispy, we're gonna add the rice, and we totally mix it together. And then we are in business in just a few moments. Okay, you know, I will get you to do that. <laughs> It's, 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 show, it is, but it's sticking and I think you're better at steaks than I am. There, there go. we go. There you go, guys. Nice and brown. Almost there. Gonna let that sit there for a bit. This is starting to simmer. I like that. We're a little bit close now, guys. And this is just beans so that you cook So this is just the beans, yeah. Okay. And, I use, and I use the water, right? You don't want to throw away this water that is that it, it's very thick. It's viscous and it adds great flavor. Um, the trick to making rice or beans, anytime that you have to do something to boil water, you season the water so well. The salt? Like, I mean, you take a handful and you throw a handful of salt in there or you could use vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. right? like, it would make a difference in your rice. Anything, anything that seasons in liquid and stock, it makes a big difference when you guys do that. So that's almost there. 
I'm gonna keep that going a little bit more. Getting close. This guy's working out. Almost there. And also the trick is it feels soft right now and it might be red right done. What happens is once this is done, we're just gonna let that rest and then the, ju the juice is gonna reabsorb into it. So you never wanna cook steak and then just right. let it and cook and eat it up Because right if you cut it, then the juices All will just juices fall come out, out and, and then it, it's and then, dry. And it's very dry and it ends up like, being more raw than you necessarily want. Right, actually. right. So you want to seal in all that heat. That's going to be there. Not very long, guys. And this is, you want this to boil still? Yeah, I want it to boil a little bit more. Yep. I think you can even see it. Put this off a little bit. There you go, guys. Almost there. Perfect. Add that there. That's gonna go. Let's see this in here. All right, guys. Let's add more add water. No, let's add the, the rice in there. All the rice? Yeah, let's go a little bit at a time. Let's go oh. half of it first. Half of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix it all in together. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, because you want the rice want to the absorb rice. everything. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Should I add more rice? Add more rice. Yeah, add all of it. All of it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Just totally mix that in. To make it completely mixed up together, and then we let it sit. So we're going to do this while the steak rests for a minute or two. And then you want it to, like, you don't want to see any more white. Okay. Oh, my, my forehead is sweaty. Drone, can you see that in the camera? <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> Look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. That's looking good. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. So now, it's just gonna crisp up a little bit. Oh, you want to crisp up? Okay. Just a tiny like bit. the bottom part? Yeah. So we Got want it. the bottom part to crisp up okay. a little bit. But this is it, guys. That's it. This is the guy in Pinto. That's it, guys. Nice and that's it. That's the jam. That's the jam. And just for the the camera, we're gonna serve this up right away. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a facial here because it's just <laughs> in my face. <laughs> Maybe skincare routine. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Skincare routine right there. Nice, guys. This is it. Just like mama doesn't make. That's so easy. I'm a better cook than my mom. Oh. <laughs> but she taught you, right? She taught me. All right, she I'll taught you. There you go. So I guess we just use this plate here. Yes. This is what we're going to do. Uh, where's the spoon I had? I have a serving spoon. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, there it is. Add that right there. Look at that. And then let's just grab some of these guys. And how do you say this again? Tostones. Tostones. Tostones, that's right. And then. Um, Gallo pinto. Gallo pinto, yes. Yeah, Gallo pinto. With. And how do you say the beef, the steak? Well, the steak, carne. Carne. Right With the chimichurri. The chimichurri. Isn't that beautiful? That's it, guys. And there you go. That's a classic Nicaraguan dish. Okay, we have to try this together. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. It is. Okay, I think I'm gonna try the plantain first. It's yeah, not too the hot. First. And, I've, and I just love plantain. Oh, very hot. Mmm. Salty, it's chip. It's like a chip. It's like a snack. It's crispy, not, I love it. Yeah, it's like a snack that's not a chip. Mm-hmm. It wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't deep fried. It was very shallow fried with coconut oil. Yes. Um, that salt. The salt does it. Yes. Yes. Seasoning salt, any kind of salt you like, you do that. Um, well we use we use the coarse salt here. Yeah, Jerome, use, this is the salt that we use. Yeah. This is my favorite salt too. It's actually kind of just finger food. I love it. Okay, I want to try this steak now with the chimichurri that I made. Mm mm mm. Mm. That's good too. It's very. It's the the red wine vinegar. I need that tang. Mm hmm. That's the that's the stuff, guys. That's the stuff. Just a little raw. 
You're right. The rice is very flavorful. Yeah. It's from that liquid. It's from the liquid. Well, Very thanks, well. Coach Hugo, for joining me on Neri's yeah, Kitchen. Once again, pleasure. you cooked a fabulous meal. It was so much fun. Right? <laughs> thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye, Bye for now. Not bad. <laughs>